I know you want me to die. It seems like you want me to just go away. I'm so tired of you. Personally, I, I only take financial advice from people that have demonstrated that they can handle their own finances. You know, <laughs> Mr. P Mr. Chairman, Mr. Mace. Mr. Chairman, if you let that person right. attack go, I'm going to blast her because I don't yeah, even okay. know how she handles her finances. I got a high water bill that I can't afford to pay and got property Mr. taxes Chair. that I'm struggling to pay, but pay, but and going to probably get them paid. However, I struggle to do, I'm handling mine and ain't filed bankruptcy in 61 years old. If you can't pick up on a personal is, attack, is, you don't need to be the chair. Yeah, that, that because that was, that's how she do. And I'm here to tell you, I want to slip a cup or two on her, and I want to see if you miss them. Because when they go low, I go nasty. Somebody shut up, man. Counsel. Yeah, yeah, I would love for you to do that. Counsel, I would love for you to do that. You make your way over Point here. of order. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Councilman Jackson. Councilman Jackson. Councilman Jackson. Councilman Jackson, no! Councilman Jackson, no! Councilman Jackson, no! Hey, point Mike, of order! No. Point of order! No, Mike, no! Listen! No, 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 we got you! Mike, we got you! Councilman Jackson! Councilman Jackson! Oh, look, who, look who's back. Why did you call me DJ Quick the last time? That kind of hurt my feelings. No, seriously, honestly, I really look like DJ Quick because that kind of hurt my feelings. I already got three kids and three baby daddies. And then you just made it harder and sounded like DJ Quick and did the makeover. No, seriously. We, no, it's Q&A tonight. It's questions tonight. So I got some questions. That's your answer. Who do you think that I owe you anything? Question your baby daddies. Don't question me. You're going to question the niggas you have babies with. What do y'all think? Get off thinking I gotta sit here and answer your questions. Did you quit this in the motherfucking house? Did you when it ain't broke, trying to fix shit can destroy shit. Complications bring problems. Now it's seeming like a job I need to quit. This is no pep and whole relationship. You do not bring me any chips. I don't have a problem quitting you. Hey, Santa. Hey, bro, I just wanted to say something. I just want to say I appreciate what you're doing for the kids, bro. Fuck them kids, nigga. Like, ring that bell. I just wanna bang, nigga. If you can't tell, I'm about that drama. Put that on, mama. Don't talk me to death. Pussy, you gotta tell me. Pussy, you gotta tell me. Don't talk me to death. Pussy, you gotta tell me. I'm blinded to the week. Got you a lane once a week. Gonna wear it. I haven't even got to that stage yet where, like, somebody's. Proposed or thought about proposing, but I definitely want a huge rock, so I'm against it. It probably cost about at least like five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Does it cost that much? Like, I, would, I would say maybe like I don't really know, but I would at least hope somebody's spending like thirty thousand or something, right? Like. <laughs> Should men care about how their woman dress? Absolutely not. I should dress however the fuck I want to. I'm a grown woman. I make my own fucking profit. I can do whatever the fuck I want with my money and with my body that I want to. It's not your decision. If you wanted to be with me, then you're going to be with me for who I am rather than trying to change me into your ideal woman. Men are so superficial. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Absolutely not. I'd at least 6'2". At least 6'2". Yeah. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Five, five. Yeah. So 6'2". 5'6". 5'5". 6'2", bare minimum. Yeah, I just like tall dudes. I don't know which the topic is tonight, but I just... How old are you? Yes. Yes, these nuts. This is the world we live in, ladies. Where a man's roles are static. You are expected to be masculine at all times. Whereas a woman's roles are negotiable. You can be a lady when you fucking feel like it. And here's the thing, you know who loses? You lose. Because when you're not naturally feminine and you have this masculine energy, let me tell y'all son about men that you guys want. They have options. Why am I gonna deal with this crass, annoying, rude, obnoxious, masculine woman that's trying to compete with me when I can go get a naturally submissive, attractive woman that's gonna follow my lead? Men want peace, not a competitor or a 
whole partnership. Because her saying, I'm conditionally feminine, is like me going up to you wearing a dress and heel saying, I'm conditionally masculine until I meet a girl that is feminine. That is a retarded concept, but we allow women to walk around with this backwards mindset, but men are never allowed to have this. Oh, why do you think a man cheats? Because they're boring. What? Yes, because we can't it's be so easy to cheat. Look at, there's so many. If I was dumb enough to believe I was the prettiest girl in the world, I would never get a man. I know there's other people prettier than me, but nobody brings what I have to bring to the table. I know that for a fact. And that is why my relationships have lasted very long. Okay. Well, why did they end? Gotcha, bitch! Why did they end? Because I broke up with them. I have never been broken up with a day in my life. Okay. How does that make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel okay. Like, I don't feel good about breaking people's hearts, but if, at the end of the day, if it's not for me, it's not for me. So why'd you end them? Why'd I end them? Because it's not for me. No, but like, why'd you actually end them, though? Because I mean, they were for you for a time. For a time? Exactly, keyword, for a time. Tupac wrote this on Dear Mama, remember that? Yeah. Dear Mama. Tupac said, even in a crack queen mama, you still a black queen mama. He said, daddy didn't care. The, 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 the baggage took the back way, such and so forth, blah, blah. Because, you know, his daddy wasn't in his life, right? Right. Right. Tupac got shot uh, when he was out in New York five times. And when he was in the hospital, Tupac got a visitor. You know who it was? His yeah. father. Yeah, okay. His mother had been lying to him his entire life. I think she could lie to Tupac. Yeah, so Tupac found out that he had a, that, and his mother knew his father was alive. Tupac carried that hurt, that pain that he put all, he found out after he got shot, conceivably, Tupac could have been killed before knowing his daddy was alive. And his daddy showed up and said, your mama didn't want to do it. Then Tupac had to address his mother. She said, wait a minute, go look at the story, check it out yourself. And guess what? Still cooked for mama, my mama, mama. We have a hard time judging mothers. Because they're like little gods, they can do no wrong. And it's so, it's so weird because many women walk around like y'all can do no wrong. Yeah, young bucks from that Grizzlies basketball team better be careful. You don't want none of that old school strength. Shannon Sharp is from the days where they used to say things like, it's about to be some furniture moving right before a fight. And you looking around like, what the hell is he talking about? The next thing you know, a grown man is being lifted out of his shoes and tossed in the air like furniture. You know Shannon Sharp has that old school strength. He was the only one talking smack to an entire basketball team. I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's fucking sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Fucking this one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. I'm just going to call it like a T.I. is. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a a relationship and building a life with them i should have stayed married to my husband i felt like i was on this dark road with no street lights pitch dark and i couldn't find my way and didn't know which way to go i felt lost i felt like i was walking barefoot on that dark road with pebbles and hot rocks sticking my foot i felt hurt uh, i felt alone because every time he and that one and this one and that one left my bed i was alone all by myself and which was supposed to be soft and comfortable comfortable for me my pillow it was now filled with tears i should not have left my husband I am filled with joy now because I have a wonderful man in my life. And although my marriage um, to my ex is over, I should have stayed with my husband. Now, believe me, he was no angel. But guess what? Neither was I. I just thought I was better than the man. <laughs> Peace. And so masculinity is a problem because it is a condition where you will fight back, which is the number one thing that they never wanted. Where there are masculine men, there are safer environments. So what do I mean? This whole toxic masculinity farce that people try to toss out here. The term toxic masculinity came from two Caucasian men. There we go again. Shepard Bliss and Robert J. Stoller. Number two, if that term came out and then it became overshadowing of what masculinity is, it blurs the lines of what masculinity is and what it is not. So now what people perceive as masculinity is putting their hands on a woman. That's masculine. No, that's not what masculinity is. Masculinity would prevent a man from putting his hands on his woman. Masculinity protects the community. Masculinity raises and respects children. Masculinity Masculinity secures when masculinity makes it to where you're not going to step over here and not get checked if you don't operate properly. That's what masculinity is. Toxicity is the opposite of masculinity. You can't even put those together because the other thing is you knew it was an agenda because you never hear people talk about toxic femininity. But it's always toxic masculinity. Why? Because the agenda is to make the man weak because if you have weak men, you have women who are not going to be able to be protected. So if they don't have their security, we'll be able to take control of them. It is the same tactic in a new package in this generation where they are looking at make sure we are able to destroy them slowly but surely and make sure they don't have any men to protect them even though women can protect themselves. They shouldn't have to. They smoother than the way of life. Ooh. How long does he have to work for his benefits again? When can he take his first vacation? Now you say this is an eight hour workday, right? But if he started work at seven and ended at four, that's nine hours. 
But what if you don't take a lunch break? Or those four 15-minute breaks? He should be about this bitch by two every afternoon. I have my attorney look over those papers. Oh, and one more question. If a frog had a glass ass, would he break it every time he moved? I'm fucking with you, baby. <laughs> Sharing the same piece, of course, with them. Me and him, no comparison, not even same class. I'm still like West Coast smoke, this nigga's lawn yard grass. Incense burning with no candles. candles. We sip our cups with no handles. No yeah, handles. he claims that pussy, but the way that I handle. He just like his mind, you the leading star in this scandal. Yeah. To him, you're a trophy that's sitting up on a mantle. Yeah. With me, you're a beast in the beast. sheets, go out when I man you. This ain't no TV show, you get exposed, your life's in shambles. Yeah. Life's a gamble, the herb help keep us yeah. tranquil. Yeah. When it ain't broke, trying to fix shit can destroy shit. Complications bring problems. Problems. Now it's seeming like a job I need to quit This is no pimping whole relationship You do not bring me any chips I don't have a problem quitting you It won't affect my chips Of course I miss both sweet lips His and her type shit You went and bought that from the store You's a freaky bitch I'm a wild nigga I'm the one your girls know about the I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now, for the past few days, I've been going live telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat. Because I tell them, I was being irresponsible, yet not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times, they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is, they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now... Some of them been trying to get in contact with me. Access denied. Because I, I already know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. And I don't give a fuck what nobody think about it. You're not going to force children upon me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decision we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out because... I'm not the one that's gonna have to carry a baby for nine months. It's the woman. In my opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Because you're gonna be like, one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is, these just jump offs. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body and they think I wanna be a, a father to a child for one of them? Wait, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat, he don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a fuck. You ain't gonna force these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I say, it's my life, my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this shit and be like, black man this, black man that, I don't give a fuck. Oh, damn. <laughs> First off. <laughs> well, well, well. I just want to say that it's always better when they say it than what I said. Because <laughs> damn. He sound like how a lot of these females be sounding when it come to their body. He is in total agreement that he <laughs> cannot tell her what to do with her body. But they did come together both of these smart people and decide together to be reckless. But he notified her that, hey, I don't want no baby. So, uh, let me slide you this, these chippers for the, for the abortion. That shit is crazy. And they say, I'm a motherfucking beast. Buddy, I was vicious.